All right. Yeah. It's the Cares None Be Dope podcast. I am your host, mm. Chris Cares None, and I'm with my co-host, Derek Fisher. What's up, baby? Bow down. What's up? What's going on, babe? What's going on, baby? You know what's crazy? So right before we got on camera, we uh we had like a mini podcast. Yeah, I know. We out here. We're no, but but that's material. my point though. We could I feel like anytime we get together, it could be a it could technically be a yeah, podcast. That's how it's been since day one. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like since, since the very first time we ever had a conversation, that could have been a podcast. <laughs> I've I've like never not wanted to talk to That'd you. That'd be a good name of a podcast. What? That could have been a podcast. Hey, that's actually kind of fire. Yeah. Let's another one. That could have been a podcast. Yeah. Uh, so what's going on, man? What's going on, man? Man, just out here working, man. Just, just picking up shit, you know. Little, little here's and there's. You, uh, I see you. I see you grinding. Yeah. You know what I keep in the line. Is. I'm really proud of you, brother. I, uh, I'm really proud of the fact that you're a man of consistency. Thank you. I think we've talked about that before, and how how important consistency mm -hmm. is man it's like the it's the it's thing the code. right yeah <laughs> really? <It's> like, <laughs> like nigga you just gotta keep doing it yeah yeah and i'm it's crazy and, and anything in life though mm -hmm. anything in life if you want to to be better at it you got to just keep doing it but then you have these moments where like You'll tell you like something will happen, and then you'll tell yourself, you know, internally not to do it, and then you don't do it. And the point I'm saying yeah. is, yeah, why do we do that when we know the consistency is the key? Because it's like it's tough, you know. Yeah. So that's what I've been on lately, trying to understand. Because you got to keep going, ups and downs. You just got to keep going. Mm -hmm. You just got to keep going, no matter what. It's the cheek. And I see you doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we talk about what you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, can you can you explain to me what I just saw? <laughs> Cause uh, I loved it, <laughs> and I didn't, and that's I knew cool, that's cool. So, f for those wondering what the fuck we talking about, Dr. Tello. Yeah. So, um, so me and my boy Josh Bernard, uh, Joshua Bernard, um, we did a video. <laughs> so with Pretty Cool Apes Productions, got our first hey. music video. Hey. Was, you know. So um, we pro I produced the. Well, excuse me. I produced a video for him um, for his new song called Quarantine. And he wanted to do it in this month specifically because this is when the quarantine started. So it's like uh -huh. a rendition of what yeah. he's been doing this whole quarantine, getting his mind together, getting his thoughts together. Uh, you know, just his clouds are never gray, but, you know, he working through it through the quarantine. So. And then you made a video. Yeah, I made a video for him. For there me. was your first time. Yeah, first music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. telling you, niggas, I'm telling you right now, <clears throat> it's it's it looks good. it's like polished. Yeah, thank you. It ain't no, you know, it's 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 when I think of pretty cool apes in your production, that it's like when you see it, that's like what I think. And and I can see how you got good because you kind of been doing little mini versions yeah, of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's almost like this is like the like the grand not grand because you'll keep going, but like the. All these came up to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it just looked really nice. And Thank then you, you got, and, that. and it's, and that's as far as just the production value. Yeah. You know, he, he could, he could spit. Yeah, he was doing his thing. Uh, but as far as well, the we production, hooked up really nicely on that one. Then he had you, you know, represented in there too. Yeah. The cares nothing in there. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what? We wanted the surprise, so Josh threw that on, and it, we was like, I was like, okay. Oh yeah, That's I can't respect. wait to get the Christmas place to tell him about the, or to let him see this one. <laughs> so yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, ah, oh, don't tell him he did it to me. <laughs> Got the cares done. He did it there. to me. It felt good as hell. I like my dick. I it. like that. That was like a good trifecta. Yeah, that was super dope. That was super dope, man. You know I'm going to share all that shit. So. Yeah, that's cool. That's, uh, cool. That's, that's another thing, too, man. Collaboration. It's heavy. You got to you gotta get into the dungeon with yourself sometimes, but then you got to learn how to get Especially into it. Especially amongst... And not to make it a race thing, but I, it's definitely we got to stick together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As black men. Oh, I think yeah. you should oh, stick yeah. together in general. Absolutely. But Absolutely. there is like a little level of we got to make sure we help, make sure we help each other. Mm -hmm. Especially when you know when you out getting it out the mud yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know? So that, that's just like an added layer. And then the fact that you just want to help a motherfucker. But mm -hmm. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really high, like right now. <laughs> I ain't been that high in a little bit, man. This, I feel good. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little good, it's a little major in here right now. It's these uh, 
Swift lifts. Yeah, so have you have you had these before? Swift lifts. I just did. Okay, so that was the first time. And I'm feeling yeah. Good so they like they're they're pre rolled like weed. Like it's like a uh, pre rolled. <laughs> yeah, it's pre rolled weed. It's like joints. Yeah, it's like a joint. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's, it's, legit, it's like legit. It's all rolled nice. It ain't like it's, your. It, ain't like Tyrone oh, and rolled it. You know, it's like really nice. <laughs> Yeah, it look like a small deck of cards. Yeah, it's, I feel like, you know, that's I kind of feel distinguished <laughs> smoking these motherfuckers. I don't know, that, it kind of just feels nice. It feels luxurious. It does feel like you throw that in the blazer. Yeah, like, like, quick with, uh, would break. you like one? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Right. It's 2020. Uh, it's a it's a sativa. Yeah. Because I like sativas. You like sativas? What, what do you like? I, I don't care. Do, can you tell a difference? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't mind either way. Yeah, I... I just, I do, I mean, but it's mostly hybrids anyway, so. Yeah, I always lean towards the sativas, because yeah. I like, what I've always heard is that that's the one to do when you want to be creative. Mm-hmm. Whereas, the, the in the couch, yeah, feels more like... See, I, I kind of grew through those, though. I don't know, I'm, like, even with the ones where you chill, I feel like I can still, that's a different type of creativity, though, that you get. See, I get too lazy. <laughs> like, know, like, I, like I hate that feeling. Oh, no. Nah, it's like smooth. <laughs> the See, other one's like, okay, let's get shit done, but you can still groove and get your shit done. But then the other one's like slow, but I don't know, groovy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, when I when I do Indicas, I just be wanting to kick. Yeah. Which is cool, but I can't really get into creating, like, I don't know if my juices, my mental, personally, my mental juices are flowing as much as when I do sativas. I feel you. Or is this all bullshit? That's, That's what I'm saying. What, am I, what, I feel am like I, you got to <laughs> own your high. That's kind of how I feel about it. Like, so if it's in that groove, then it's in that groove. Like, let's get shit done. We just going to be a little slow about it. Let's let's go, you know? But still get your shit. Like, it's, that's the consistency. I know, but, like, I, why do I think if I take this other one, I'll, it'll be harder for me to get to the consistency? Like, what is that about the weed that makes me feel that way? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the truth to it, too. Yeah, I don't know. I just, but I, I love weed, bro. Fuck <laughs> it. I love weed. <clears throat> and the best part about weed is that you wake up feeling great. Yeah. You you go to sleep, you sleep great. Yeah. Everything's, Everything's better. Great. Everything's great, right? I'm ride my bike and it's gonna bro, be great. Sex is great. Whoa. It's out it's like it's outstanding. Yeah, it's crazy. That's that, that, that it, it's unprecedented. Indubitably. Food tastes like it ain't even a... It tastes like water. It's like a whole new... Oh, yeah. When you high and you thirsty, some cold, like, Fiji, nigga. You know how beverage. good that tastes? What else? Like, watching, like, a music video, <laughs> listening to music is better. Everything is better when you high. Watching comedy. Just is there anything that's worse? The scary movies count. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever watched. Never, oh, yeah, that kidding. sounds fucked. Up. I don't know if I'm doing that. Man. <laughs> I've never even thought about that. Oh shit! I Would that like be fucked up? That. Or like, what, what about people that you think they take like acid and mushrooms and watch scary <laughs> movies? That sounds horrible. That sounds horrible to me. That sounds. I don't. I don't think of. I can think of anything that would be worse than doing that in the history of anything. That's that's a nightmare. If you're on psychedelics <laughs> and you're watching like Jason. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, <laughs> oh, yeah. some crazy, you know that was a that was a fucked up, yeah. Or uh, what what was your scary? What was your uh, scariest movie? What's the scariest movie of all time? Uh, do you have one already? I I'll say ones that I don't, I don't know about scary movie, scariest movies of all time, but I will say ones that did have me kind of a little freaked out for a second. Yeah, I guess that's kind. Of, all right, that's fine. Yeah, so, which one okay. worked a little bit? Yeah. Worked a little bit. Final Destination. <laughs> okay, okay. Two specifically. Oh, I was like, okay. hey. Yo. <laughs> hey, the two hit it. <laughs> um, and then um, what's the one? Paranormal Activity. Oh, that was good. That kind of got me for a Paranormal high second. Was good. I, I was like, I had to go home. And see. Hey, don't laugh at me, but uh, <laughs> the Blair Witch Part One <laughs> got me a little. <laughs> No, at the end, man. At the very end, I was I was a little creeped out, cause <laughs> like, I was a little creeped out. Cause uh, no, cause it was like it felt real and shit. Yeah, it was like yeah, a real yeah. camcorder. I'm like, wait a minute, this shit feel a little too real. 
And then you just heard like the little rumors going around that shit could be real, Joe. Oh, uh, no, I know. And I started, to, I'm like, all right, but whatever. <laughs> it, just, it ain't real. I like you, you You're watching this shit, but you're like, oh, it looks like it's happening in real yeah. life. So, real life. And you can, and you can like see yourself in the situation easy. Mm-hmm. And then, and then at the very idea. end, they like when them kids started fucking with the tent. That, that shit was scary. I don't give a fuck. I, I was terrified. Nigga. I was fucking. I was. I was terrified. So that that one was fucked up. I didn't like uh, the ring. Okay. There was a little couple when she came out yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah. when she came out the uh, came out the, the TV. Mm-hmm. That shit was fucked you up. Like that little girl. But you want to know what the scary what the but, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. You did. I'm gonna say you want. I'm gonna tell you what I was the most scared of thing ever. And it wasn't even the scary movie. Okay. Uh, it might have been Paramount. But do you remember the movies back in the day where this damn unicorn would come like flying? T- I think it was TriStar. TriStar Productions. And then there was this fucking unicorn okay. that was coming towards the screen. Okay. And for some reason, I was terrified. <laughs> <of> their- <laughs> oh, <laughs> like their, their logo coming in? Yeah. It was, I think it's TriStar. Hold on. I, I got to show on. you. Please, please, please. TriStar. Productions. If I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there you go. This scared the <laughs> shit out of me, boy. Wait, hold on. I swear to God, I wish I could show this on uh, TV, but I need you to see this. You remember this now? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you see that big old oh, oh, horse kick? I was, I was terrified. That shit scared the shit out of me for like 15 years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in high school and shit terrified of that shit. It's like a real phobia. I don't like unicorns to this day. Whoa, what? what why? Like a, Did you feel like it was attacking you? Or I, don't, I was a little kid and I just, <laughs> I guess I was sensitive, probably feminine. Did you? I was terrified of that damn thing. <laughs> You felt threatened or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I hated that feeling. Big ass white horse. But I was, I was scared of that more than the movies. Oh, oh, another good one was. Um, wow. Uh, Hellraiser. Okay. You ever seen any of those? No. Damn. Do you remember the movies though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was one scene where this nigga was taking. S- what? I had a favorite one. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. If no, you no, I don't it remember up. it, so you can go keep going. No, but there's the scene where he was taking fucking CDs out of his head and throwing them at my fucking. It's just, mm. it always stuck with me, and it was I was scared. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other. Sc- those are probably the scariest ones. To me. Oh, um, I have a favorite one, but I forgot what it was called. So some some people say the scariest movie of all time was the one uh, back in the day, like in the seventies, The Exorcism. Mm-hmm. That one was good. I thought it was good. See, I think I think about the time frame when it came out. You know what's funny about being a kid of like the early two thousands and shit? All scary movies to me, they just <laughs> because of Scary Movie the series. I just think of like the <laughs> comedy of it all. <laughs> so when you said the exorcism, I just that's immediately what I thought okay. of shit. So it's funny, like my whole just childhood was seeing scary movies in a funny way as well. So Oh, uh, so you just never respect you were never scared. No. Damn. What but some up? did get me though. Some did get me. I wish I really had this one with the dolls and shit. What's your favorite genre of movies though? Uh I think I'm a I think I'm a comedy guy. For the most part. Yeah, if I had to pick one thing to watch, part. you if got one to thing get, to watch yeah, going forward. You gotta yeah, laugh. I gotta, right? I gotta yeah. if I can get some laughing going on. If I can get a nice but I like a quality good well, I got a couple movies to show you too, man. What 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 what, what kind of movies? Uh thought provoking. Oh <laughs> uh, see but see like quality shots hey, though. But I'll give you this. Do you consider like a documentary a movie? Cause yeah, we can. If, cause, we can. I was about to say if that's the case, then yeah, 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 yeah. We can. You know what I'm saying? So, so I well, that's can put, most of my life, actually. I don't know. Like, so, so here's my here's my theory about what I'm trying to say. I love comedy movies, yeah. right? But how my go to if we're considering like docu series and things like that a movie, if you can find it in a movie right, form, we're putting it in a movie form. Yeah. I would probably at, at most of the time watch that over a comedy. Yeah, for sure. Right. For sure. So if we're adding that, do you agree with that oh, or not? Oh, absolutely. No? Okay. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So, but if you take that out. Yeah, so it's like oh, yeah, comedy, yeah. drama. Right. Well, no, then it's going to just straight documentary. Yeah, That's right? Because that, no. that shit feels, I don't know, there's something about the learning part about it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Whereas the other ones are more like, 
And don't get me wrong, I like the other ones, but it feels more La La Land. I got one for you that's like a documentary, but it's a comedy too. It's a romance comedy documentary. It's so dope. Wait, a romance comedy documentary? I didn't even heard that's a thing. I didn't even heard it. I ain't heard of that until I watched this movie and. I just made the name up, but oh, oh, you just made it. Up. I'm like, I've wait, never. That's heard what it was. <laughs> like, that's what it was. I'm like, wait a minute, I've never heard of that. That's like, what it was, though. That's what I'm saying. I was like, damn, this is a talented ass movie. A romantic comedy documentary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm about to, I'm about to get that. Yeah, name. trademark that shit. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, speaking of trademarks, I saw you. Hey, all right. Look at your boy out here. Man. So there's like a little process I gotta go through. It it takes a little time. You, you put it. Account working on you got you got you got niggas working on it. You know, <laughs> went to legal zoom. Shout out to legal zoom. Shout you out to legal zoom. Shout out legal okay, zoom. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, they make it. They seem kind of easy. We actually, I actually called this this one dude. It's like creep. So, all right, off. Oh, fuck this. Let me get into the real topic. Customer service. Oh, you've been out. Yeah, I saw you. I uh, had to tell who was it. Everybody, <laughs> like everybody. This is pick a play. Not everybody. I, I'm crazy. But my, my point is, is like. Whoa, the, the customer service is bad at some places. Corporations. Too. Especially when you, it's, eh, it's even more fucked up. But like, I just know that when, and as a, as a person now dealing through business and with people and money transactions, you know, yeah. it's a service now. At the end, now it's a yeah, service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. ain't like I'm my nigga. It's I got funny you getting to see that part of the internet right. and how fucked up it is to hustle in that. Right. So then I'm, and so then I'm just imagining I treat people how I would want to be treated if I was if there was a transaction of a service. Mm-hmm. So it's like if I go to your place or your restaurant and spend money, I I know how I would want to be treated because how I would treat you. Yeah. And then I'm going around dealing with my things, da 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 da, and 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 I've just been noticing bad customer service. Wow. More like yeah. I, I knew it before because but now I I see it even more. And I just thought, like, when you make a mistake or just just feeling like you give a damn about, like, existing. Like, how, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. some of these people, they just feel hideous. Oh. They feel like they don't want to, like, be alive. Almost. And they're not even, like, trying to be an asshole. Like, they're so miserable in their situation. And it's then situation. they don't know how to clean it up. Because I know I've been in some sh- shitty situations, but I was still always customer service friendly. You know what I'm saying? At work. Right, I feel you. Like, I feel like, have you ever felt like you weren't always could keep work, work? Yeah, no. Nah, just got to push, man. Right? Yeah, and push. then you almost still come off as, like, super happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. If I just bounce through it. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing I would always say about you. Yeah. The, the, like, the good vibes only game is strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's as strong as hell. <laughs> I remember thinking, man, when we worked Shit. with each other. Back in the day at uh, Cheesecake Factory, not Cheesecake Factory, Cheesecake. at uh, the White Chocolate, when we, especially when it was all of us, the vibe in that yeah, bitch. Yeah, we was vibing up. I actually really enjoyed working there at that time. Yeah, we was vibed up. We was vibed up. The system was so quality too. It was. Yeah, it was. That was like as far as all. If I had to go back of all the years and that, like one was like a year or two, 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 three years maybe. Like a year. Year and a half. It wasn't even a solid. But about a year, year and a half, something like that. But but the vibe in that yeah, bitch. Yeah, we had that one good. Everybody making money. And then we was all kicking it out outside yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was like eight black people. <laughs> like <laughs> in, I'm that, in Naperville. Listen, you don't see that. <laughs> Not eight. Nah. Told you the one lady. She was like, <laughs> I don't know if I told this story on on the. I probably did. This shit was ridiculous. So it's a Saturday night, busy as hell. And I'm serving this table. The the wife's had a couple of cocktails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a very important part of this story. Go on. So she is and, and this is and mind you, you know how our system is, everyone at all places at a restaurant. Because, mm-hmm. like you you gonna touch like four or six different tables, yeah, right? For sure. So everyone's zooming through everywhere. So obviously, wherever you're sitting, you can get a, an idea of the, the staff. Mm-hmm. Cause you see so many, right? So she goes, "Can I ask you a question?" <laughs> and I'm like, <clears throat> "I'm like, yeah." She goes, "You know, it's, it's I just it's kind of weird because it's called white chocolate and there's so many you know bl- you know black people that walk <laughs> around here." And I'm like, <laughs> "Like I'm like what?" <laughs> and I'm looking, and I'm like, 
like, what the fuck does that mean? I don't even like phys- literally. What does that mean? Uh, <laughs> she said, "Let me say it again <laughs> and see if you can figure out what it means." I know it's it's kind of weird because it's called white chocolate grill, and there's so many you know blacks working here, and that's all she said. Like, like <laughs> what does that mean? I don't even like. What is she trying to say? What would you think she's trying to say? She was trying to make a a, a funny. My my point is, did it really make sense? I don't even. It wasn't like a. It wasn't a well crafted joke. Yeah, I don't think. I, I, I don't know. She was, she was curious about white chocolate. She was just thinking too hard about race and color. Yeah, she, that's she, all. She, 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 she way too hard. Wait, I mean, hold on. Like, so I literally about. had to hit her with the. I don't. I literally said, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know what you're talking about because I really didn't. I really did, and I just walked away. Clown. <laughs> then I went in the bag, and I, I don't know if you was there or whatever, but I told everybody, I'm like, hey, what does this mean, y'all? Like, what does this mean when, when a white woman says that? And then, like, everyone's like, why? Well, no one can, you know, because what the fuck does it mean, right? So I went back, and I guess the husband must have said something. Uh-huh. Because she looks at me. She goes, Chris, 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 Chris. I'm so sorry. Mm. And she goes, I wasn't trying to be racial or anything. Yes, you right? <laughs> yeah, you were trying to be racial. Right. That's literally so, what you tried to do. <laughs> <laughs> so the husband was like, he like gave me a look like, I'm sorry, bro. Like this yeah. fucking stupid bitch. I swear to God, that's how he looked at it. That's the look that that's the vibe I got. <laughs> Is he was like, I'm so sorry. This like I'm embarrassed for her. And she was a little tipsy though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I it, it didn't seem as though he was as tipsy. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's an interesting. What the story. fuck is that mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Uh, I, t- I had a, so that was at White Chocolate, yeah, <laughs> but I had another situation where I was serving this couple uh, during lunchtime, <laughs> and I and and we had d- developed a rapport, mm-hmm. so, which is cool. You know, I, I'm willing to get away with some. You know, I'll say some shit I probably shouldn't say because of the rapport. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you can get that vibe. You you know, mm-hmm. I think you you know that shit too. Of course. So, uh, so I go to the table and he goes, "Hey man," and I'm probably fucking this up a little bit, but he he started mentioning about, "Hey man, if what do you bring into the family reunion?" That's what he said out of nowhere. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and he goes, you know, like fried chicken. And I'm like, <laughs> you like, <"Man."> I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck did you just walk up to? And, I, and I'm like, I don't, like, <laughs> I'm like, sir. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I really don't know what you mean, man. What you what you need me to know? So then I, I just walked away. I'm like, I gotta walk away. Cause I don't know what you mean. So that happened. And then the last thing happened. <laughs> this place is stupid. I wonder if it's a neighborville kind of place. But anyway. Oh um you silly. I served this one table and it was a great table. Great table. Nothing. Everything was perfect. I remember the table. It was it was a lady, and like her her girlfriend. And then I went. Uh, everything was fine. Then she wrote in and gave me like some love. You know, gave me some highest markings. It was whatever stars. I forgot what it was. Hundred percent. And then she said she wrote, Chris was surprisingly well mannered. <laughs> Whoa. Surprisingly well mannered. And and I didn't even think nothing of it when I first heard it because I'm like, oh, you know, she's giving me love. And then a guy that I worked with named Mark was like, you don't think that's a little fucked up? And I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> he goes, what the fuck is it like? So like, what are you supposed to act like? And then I was like, you know, that is kind of fucked up. <laughs> that's yeah. fucked. But and here's here's the thing, I I think she was trying to do something good, but she was so like ridiculous. <laughs> But I, like, why would you go out of your way to just give me good marks, tip me great, great person? I had a great time. I remember the table. And then you make a comment like that, mm-hmm. probably not even understanding like, how fucked up that is, right? Mm-hmm. Like, what does it mean to be surprisingly well-mannered? I know, well, it's a, it's a slight. <laughs> right? It's, like, it's a slight for sure. <laughs> yeah, right. So, I, it, I, I think, do you, how, how, how naive, <laughs> super aggressive. Do you think it was a, a naive or she's just she's aware of how ridiculous it is? It, it has some awareness to it, I think. Yeah, it gotta have some awareness. <laughs> like, like what percentage? Nah, all the way. 
hundred percent. Oh yeah, people were over there. So you don't think that there was any part of her that who really was just trying to just hook me up? No, I'm not saying that. But that's kind of, it's not about that. It's about her, her like it's about just her way that she approaches life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, For ridiculous. Her to be a person that would just do that, but still tip you and shit. Like to be in that mindset, you just—that's just how you are as a person, <laughs> right? right you're fucked up. <laughs> like it's just one hundred percent you. And it's crazy because I remember the table had a great time. She was cool, no, no drama. She, I didn't, even, I didn't even get that vibe. See that logic? It's a, I'm telling you, life's my fucker, huh? Yeah. I was—I forgot who I was talking to recently, but we was talking about how life is so. Uh, ridiculously like like what the fuck is going on like like what's going on i guess you go religion or everyone has their theories or whatever or maybe you just don't give you just but life is so it's like what's a better story than real life mm-hmm. like you couldn't write you. you couldn't write real life people do it who have tried and some do really well you know yeah. niggas can you know like uh game of thrones mm-hmm. you watch that shit i didn't i gotta get into it though oh Everybody tells me like you're a terrible person for not getting. It. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's a that's a bit aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hideous nigga, man. Yeah. You're a hideous I mean, nigga. Uh, no, so I got hooked. First of all, I got hooked on this shit. Yeah, everybody does, and I, I was just like, all right. It took me like three tries to get past, it, but then once I was hooked, it, I binged it like two weeks. It was a heroin nigga. I was I was yeah, gone. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta just lock myself in and just go. So I can, <laughs> just gotta, gotta go for the ride. Yeah. So anyway, that. so I, I was watching the shit. And then you get really into the story. They do a good job. And then niggas say that, like, the books are even, like, more ridiculous, oh, yeah, right? But I was so into the shit. I was so into it that I was going on YouTube to figure out, like, w- like the, what the shit means for the people who actually read the book. Because mm-hmm. I'm not going to read the books. Right. But niggas make a little YouTube video saying... The, the House of Westeros and this is and they have they talk about the history of like thousands of years yeah. of this like fake history. Yeah. And you know what's weird about that? I enjoyed that history more than like in school history, like real yeah. our history. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So why is that, you know? That's interesting. That's cool. No, I, I, is it that I that's that cool. I, I treasured a fake ass history over the real one? Seems a little fucked up. Well yeah, I mean, but it's a crafted history. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's like a crafted history. And it's not all peaches and cream, but it's like, why am I into that and not real life history? I had to just kind of fucked up. That's a, that's a dope concept. But you like, uh, you, you're a huge history buff. Yeah, super, super, super. And I think being around you and just in general, I, 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 I'm more inclined to be interested in shit. Like, I've been thinking about going to the, you can push it about uh, the museum. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I kind of want to do that. Yeah. Uh, what they got, what the exhibit's coming up right now? Uh... They got some, like, shoot. They got one on China right now, and uh, I think something on Native American tribes. The Museum of Science and Industry or the Field Museum? Which the one? Field. You, which one you like better? The Field. That's mine. That's the one I like the best. I actually got membership. <laughs> yeah. How much does that shit cost? Like, 80 bucks, 80, 90 bucks, or something like that for the year. Oh, a year? Yeah. And you can just go whenever? Yeah. How much would it cost to go per time? I, like, 40 or something like that, or something oh, like so that. like it, you just go two or three times and it pays for itself, yeah. Pretty oh, much. yeah, you gotta pay for it, especially for you, yeah, 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 because you like the, yeah, yeah, just get my that's like the, that was like the easiest investment you've ever made, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, whatever, 300, it got you, right. and it would make sense for you, yeah. <clears throat> like, for instance, uh, like I, I hate advertisements, mm-hmm. you know, especially on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Which is what I man, watched on sub. I know. I pay that fee, man, because to me it's worth it. The, there's a value for me, right. you know. Some people look at me and go, "That's ridiculous, nigga." Watch a thirty second commercial. Mm-hmm. But personally, that should be going though. I man. know, and then they stop right in the middle, like, ah. Oh. They getting extra now. And here's the thing: I'll notice when I'm at someone else's watching their YouTube. Yeah. And then like a commercial will happen, and I'll I'll be so anxious, like. Yeah, we, like trying to grab it. Yeah, like it. like why are we still yeah. watching this commercial right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in my house, just yeah, we go through. We go straight That's through. That's how I am too. I can't stand it. So I'll be counting that little five seconds down. Oh, you be also, oh, but so you'll still you won't pay for it. It ain't. It ain't, it ain't oh, that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'll mean, be counting this five seconds down to skip it. Like okay. I hope it ain't fifteen seconds. But to you, there's not a value enough to pay for it. No, 
No. So it's not. To, yeah. No. So to you, it's worth invest. Yeah. No, that's not. No. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not fucking with me that much. <laughs> <laughs> To Why mo- to spend money on it? Think no. about how much it's fucking with me that yeah, I gotta I pay money yeah, for it. Yeah, I see, I see. It's really getting on your fucking nerves. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's crazy. It's making your life uncomfortable. Uh, so tr- like so to me that was the easiest investment I've ever made in my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, you just old like a motherfucker. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, in all serious, know that I've definitely made better investments. I get you. Okay, I don't remember. I was like, this bum ass nigga out here. <laughs> That's your best investment of all time, nigga. Uh, what's going on with the uh, the 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 the, uh, the COVID nineteen stimulus relief package? Yeah, so that that uh, it, they just dropped that. Right, right. Now, so but they're about to sign it right now. Uh, Joe Biden's about to sign. It. I guess I think it goes all oh, after it comes back from the house. So when's the, the time frame of that they, they think they think about March nineteenth, and then uh, like a Friday, niggas gonna get their fourteen hundred. That's yeah. gonna go back out, and, and, and niggas could definitely use that. Mm-hmm. That's gonna help. Oh yeah, that's gonna definitely help, man. They they came through. Put into some. Stuff. They gave us some. It's still you know you got you still got the trillionaires. Like Jeff, Be- can we can we think about? How much money Jeff Bezos has for and like and let's really try to break that down. How ridiculous it is, how much money that is. One man, vicious. Of course he controls shit, mm-hmm. and he, his product is vicious. Amazon, yeah, he vicious. Got, I was just telling somebody he has the best store of all time. <laughs> 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 he does. Yeah, he, he do. He got the, got the gold store of uh, all time. It's so perfect. What store has ever done that? <laughs> not not to that degree. And I was just going back to the customer service. They got some mean ass customer, like not mean. They got some great. <laughs> they have some phenomenal customer service. <laughs> you know what I meant though. Like man, that shit mean. Nigga, like oh, Chris, what do you mean? Is it mean? Is it nice? No, no, no. But it, they have exceptional customer service, like impeccable. You know, they like super dope. And that's why I strive to have, offer my. I'm like, cause I I, I see the value that's in that. That's an shit. investment, yeah. That I that I do the Amazon Prime shit. So, yeah, cause you know, you, and you order, you use it yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you pay for the the year the yearly or do you get the monthly? Yearly. Right. Yeah. Cause I'm if stupid I'm go, for if not I'm doing it. In, I'm just gonna put you in my system. Right. Okay, and, you part of the. And why the waste package? the extra thirty oh, yeah, to you not? Be economical with your shit. You can't just you gotta. You gotta be I got yeah, yeah. You got to be sufficient when it comes to that. So, you know, because if you're going, your money is so I guess the only key as is as hard as it can. You got to have so the the, the the caveat is you got to have the money up front for those situations. Not yeah, because you got to pay for the years up front, and that's how you get the discount. Mm-hmm. Whereas oh, I don't have a hundred bucks to pay for Prime right now, but I can afford twelve now. And then I can afford twelve next week, but that's what they take advantage of. That it's it makes lots. It makes more sense to have the money up front to save the money. Oh, oh yeah, no what? And we, then you can roll the dice with the month to month and stuff like that. But and yeah, so I guess that is an option for people who who are on that hustle. If you but 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 like see, that. so not, maybe this is some hot talk. But think, this is actually nah, a good I mean, point. But, but this is a good point. Though, actually, it it that the, that principle alone is kind of set up for six, like people with with to get better, mm-hmm. because if you don't have the money to buy the upfront. You can't get the savings at the end, right? Because you don't have the money up front. So it's almost like the world's geared towards to have this shit, and it works better in your favor. Yeah, by so that principle. Versus that, yeah. If it was only yearly, you wouldn't be able to afford it at all. Right. Right. But this, so your hustle would be just. But uh, my, but my point is, is that the reason why you would pay for the whole thing, the yearly upfront, is because you're going to ultimately save a, a big percentage. Right. Sometimes pretty substantial. Right. But you have to have the money up front to take advantage of that. Of course. And but it feels like that way in that. life, though. Like, if you have if mm-hmm. if you have the money up front, that you got to take advantage. Not saying you can't. No, it's just going to be harder. Good, but that's a perfect system. You, you described that system perfectly. Right? That's literally how this shit is ran. Yeah. That's how the world that's feels. That's how the fucking world is ran. Wow. That was and crazy. not saying you can't. Right. You, I can eventually... Get to twelve ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. Five months in, and then come across a hundred dollars. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can work your way up, but look how much harder you have to work mm-hmm. in order to get to the savings that the people right. with the money got from the top. Right, from the top, they got the year plan already. 
So that's the way it kind of looks to me. So wow, that was a good ass. That was a good last soliloquy, boy. That was good. Yeah, and and I feel like this is the way it's set up. But I, but again, cares none. Who gives? You know, it is what it is. That was Let's a great out. metaphor for life. But 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 I like I said personally, I still I want to make very clear that it could still be done. It's just going to be harder, mm-hmm. and that's okay. I could even argue. Look at my ass. I could argue that the harder is better. Mm. When you're getting it out the mud, I I could argue that. The, the qualities it would take to create something vicious mm-hmm. or, or, or like whether it be a bank account yeah. or a business or whatever, when you, when it wasn't given to you, when it wasn't easy for you to get, mm-hmm. it would, the characteristics you would gain from that. Of course. I would rather have. Right. Than a motherfucker who didn't have to work out the mud for it. Mm-hmm. I feel you. So like, I kind of like I feel you. the hardship and like, oh, he got it out the mud. I don't know, I, I personally respect yeah, that. Yeah, we are like, yeah. Because <clears throat> I know what it takes. Like an underdog and whatnot, too. I do. Yeah, I always go to underdog. Yeah, like, like even like on a basketball game? Yeah. Or a football game or something? Yeah, yeah, I always go underdog. Yeah, it's a better story. Yeah, I like it. I like just. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. got it. I got to get it. <laughs> now, you did. Do you, do you think people that root, is there people that root on the, oh, the favorite? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Absolutely. Does that say something about our character or something? What yes. Is it? <laughs> yes. I'm telling you. So what, wow. uh, let's break that it's down. It's better for us today in life, y'all. <laughs> so let's break that down. What does it mean when a person uh, goes for the underdog? You want it out the mud. You want the struggle. You, you, uh, shit, you just, pro- you probably, that's probably in your personality somehow. Or what does it mean? When you root for the favorite every time, it's definitely a fucking personality. <laughs> you all, yeah, I can, I can feel it in your in your voice <laughs> inflection. <laughs> it's definitely more. It's definitely you, more. You know what the fuck gonna happen, and you know what the world is about. You're not confused about shit. You don't know no struggle. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's actually super interesting. Get off my lawn, ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, but I don't. Have you ever met someone like that? I'm pretty sure. I feel like does everyone like the the underdog story. Some people, uh, I guess. I mean, you got to me. You got to really be a want, real some asshole. Really want some Tom Brady type? <laughs> Come on now, somebody. Right, right. That's true. <laughs> that's that's a good point. Come on now. And There's then, a lot of motherfuckers that want him to keep winning. Yes. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. So what does that say about those people? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Now I'll be honest. I, I was rooting for him to win this one. Mm-hmm. Right, because circumstances, situation. You know, like, what, does that mean like I'm an asshole or something? Because I wasn't look. rooting for him to lose. It could be so. Oh damn! Nah, because because I guess my here's yeah, a, so, all right, but here's my here's my philosophy. I wanted him to win because oh, see, no, nope, nope, nope. All right, here we go. I wanted him to win because a lot of motherfuckers saying he couldn't, so he in fact was the underdog. Okay, okay. A lot of, so that's kind of what I was thinking. A lot of people you. were saying that he's he's washed. I got you. I got you. And I'm like, "No, he's still cold." Cool. Which in a situ- that could be considered an underdog in certain situations. For sure. Absolutely. But in but I wasn't coming from the fact like, "Oh, Tom Brady's the goat. He's going to win just cuz he's Yeah. It was it more like it was a different season. He yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. That's true. So I still feel like I take the underdog ultimately. Okay, you got it. Okay. You say okay. Do you think I'm lying? No, 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 no. no that makes sense? sense. That makes sense. Yeah, because I, who was the favorite? Do you remember who the favorite was? I feel like it wasn't him. I feel like it was because it was the Chiefs, right? Everyone was saying the Chiefs are cold. Hold on, let's see. Who was favored in the last Super Bowl? Chiefs. According to USA Today Sports Bookwire. Bet on the big game now. February 2nd, 2021, after advancing to Super Bowl 55 with a victory over the Buffalo Bills, the Chiefs at minus 165. Oh, yeah, minus 165. Yeah, so the Chiefs were favored by a lot, actually. So, yeah, I went for the underdog. <laughs> I'm about to say, damn, I, I can't be some asshole. Yeah, okay, you got it. Or like, represent. Uh, or like in movies, who doesn't root for, like, the slave to get away? Like who's <laughs> who, who's rooting? <laughs> who's like you get that fucking slave? Like like I've never even thought. About I guess there's some people out there, but I that's how you. Sure. I, I would yeah. look at it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say if I met somebody like. That. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's like a racist motherfucker out there? Like, oh, don't don't let him get away. <laughs> 
<laughs> don't let it get that nigga. Don't let it get away. No, no. I mean, there's probably some. Oh, have I ever showed? I showed you the documentary before, um, Confederate States of America. No, oh, that shit was great. <laughs> yeah, and very fucked up. Yeah, it was uh, the reverse history of the Confederates had won the Civil War. And the commercials and shit that would be going on in it. Yeah, and all like the like, what you, like propaganda and shit. Yeah, it was propaganda. And I was like, this shit is kind of what would happen. And then it kind of, man. <laughs> they was just, you don't realize how. Uh, like how, history could be just. Well, and then rewritten and shit too, right? Just whatever you say. But when when the screen was invented, that's that's vicious, man. The the, the screen, mm-hmm. the, the, the idea of watching something on a screen is yeah. such a revolutionary things yeah. that was that got to be one of the m- oh yeah top like five things ever created that's probably like just looking at water being able to see yourself and shit and just and just been like and being able to create that is <laughs> oh you yeah well, you. You, you went real deep <laughs> oh hold on that's could you that, imagine the first nigga who noticed mean. water <laughs> could that's you that. imagine one day you're 35 years old but if you think about it that's our first television like the first thing time we can even see ourselves is once in some oh, water. Oh, see, yeah, nigga, you get deep, deep. You Hold know what on. I mean? Yeah. So that's just this is just our version of being able to put water and shit to our face, so we can do something we've always naturally done. So I wonder what the ourselves. next thing is. You think it's gonna be like the like the virtual reality or augmented yeah, reality thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. When that's like the norm. Yeah, yep, that's where it's going. So like we all I'm went. Do you think we'll be alive reality. while it's a thing? I think technology is moving. I think this is like the stone or the golden age, and history is going to be the golden age of like technology boom. So this is like this era is just in the middle of that shit, and then you know blockchain shit and all this other stuff that's coming out. So I think, we're, gotta I be think we're in like a real time where shit is just booming. You're gonna look, they're gonna look back on this time and be like, this was the time where they really took off. It's gonna be like the railroad kind of era when they came into like the industrial era, and it's like this technology era. It's kind of like the Goldilocks zone for it. I mean, yeah, because it's getting so, yeah, it, it does feel like it's getting all like, because we're like the baby for it. Yeah, yeah, we're super young in it. So that's all you're asking. But it's moving like at a really, I just feel like that shit moving. Let me ask you this. When did you notice, and I might be high. Oh, yeah, we high. But when did you notice that the internet started getting real easy to use? I remember when the internet back in the day wasn't so like simple. Like that iPhone feel, I just press a bubble. Mm-hmm. You know, like like a like a button User bubble. Friendly. Yeah, I I yes yes, mm-hmm. and then like bright colors and shit. Yeah. Bright like the Google. Yeah, it's all like man, it's so it's so clean too. and shit. It's right. Hey, what is that? That clean modern bubble futuristic, yeah. but simple though. Yeah, it that's, it looks that's so the simple. Whole thing. User friendly is about simplicity and what the human mind and like. <laughs> That's some deep shit. Yeah, I'm doing deep. I was taking some classes on it actually. It was called human computer interaction. Yeah, and it's like they teach you how to like understand people's thought or brain, so you can like know what they what would be easiest for them to do. So instead of like, man, I wish I could remember some of the projects they had us do. I used to send them to my cousin, but um, ah, I have to get into it. Well, I know when I'm looking at like, for instance, on a web on a web page, right, or like on your phone on a web page, mm-hmm. and then you press the little three th- the three buttons on the right. Yeah. At the top, the three little buttons. You, and then it comes down a smooth tab. Yeah. And it's just so clean. It's simple. It like feel it just feels like it looks the way it's supposed right. to look. It just feels so like right. Yeah. You're like, damn, this shit is clean, nice, simple, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. I, 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 for some reason, I, the word I, clean. I'll give, I'll give you an example, actually. So even with this iPad here, so I can do everything with my mouse, right? So I can scroll with the mouse, but. That's a, that's a, and then I can also click with the mouse too. Oh, that's a way that I can click with the mouse. So if I actually touch screen it though, it makes it it easier for me because psychologically this is meaning if I'm clicking it, then I got to do another step. Mm, You know what I mean? Yeah, I do see what you're saying. But this is like a screen. So it's just making it one step easier for me to do that something naturally that humans would do better. Right. Than than just doing doing that. It seems easy. Right. And then typing and stuff like that from this to this and moving the mouse versus that. So it's like. Do you that, find that yourself easy. using both a lot? I use this more so than anything because it's more user friendly. I use the screen. The screen. More. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you're right. It, it makes sense that you would just. Yeah. Like, for instance, if you went to like any, all the touch screen, like the touch screen shit, all that shit is like super yeah. simple, big, eat legible. Yeah. It's never like overcrowded. Yeah. It's a whole industry for that. 
Damn, yeah, that's just crazy. It's a whole industry for that, just studying people. <laughs> but I think the next, the next thing will definitely, it's got to be some form of like that movie, Ready Player One. Oh, I was, I was uh, watching that a couple months ago. Actually, did you finish it? I didn't finish it. Yeah, so the whole idea is these, uh, it's the future, yeah, and everyone kind of, most people are, are living in in this world. It's it's like virtual reality, but you but then you 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 walk on this platform where you can actually physically walk like in your house, yeah, and you can just be whatever, do whatever, da da da, da and do whatever you want. You can be a, you can be a super ranger, a super ranger, a power ranger, a superman. You can do whatever you want. You just yeah. gotta pay for it. It's a game. Yeah, and most of the in the society, most of the people have done that. It's funny because it's all kind of it's ghetto. Everything's all fucked up. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything's dirty. People are fat. Because everyone's just at home playing this game, or whatever. But anyway, I, I think that that's the kind of world that once once niggas get the where it's okay that that to be put on this like in this world to live in outside of reality, I think people will do it. Mm. Oh yeah, because I oh, can yeah. see how good the games feel already. Like when I'm playing, you know, two K or when I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, you can almost get lost in that shit. Mm-hmm. Now imagine when they can you're, So you're just playing the game Now imagine you can put some shit over your head And you feel like you're in it you Why wouldn't And then you can go wherever Ball out cars You can go nuts So whoever creates that I'm telling you Whoever gets there first That's a That's that's a game changer Wow for, yeah You know Yeah when, Where most people would rather be in yeah, this Than in reality true. So that's when you feel like That's when it'll be like Boom That might be the next thing shit, Or maybe yeah. artificial intelligence As far as the ones that are like Walk amongst us Mm-hmm. How far do you think we are from that? I think we're around the corner. It's, just look to Asia, man. They're getting shit done over there. So <laughs> we always going to lag behind, man, because we, 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 you know, investment is different. Yeah, so their technology game is always serious. Yeah, they all, that's their shit. That's their shit. That's their shit. That's what the fuck do we build? Like I don't know, man. I think we just <laughs> oil still, right? I don't know. Yeah, we, we still just the big dicks. Like, yeah, y'all did technology, but we'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> right, we, 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 we got the army, so yeah, I think we still looks like y'all need some army. more freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Come to your country, give y'all some freedom. <laughs> yeah, I take know. off your drawers, about to give you some freedom. <laughs> I feel like that's what America is, man. I feel like we some big ass bullies, but you love us. Oh, do I though? Do you? Yeah, I, I. I don't think I'm blindly just. I'm just not blind no more though. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that like pledge of allegiance shit blindly like of I used to. Oh yeah, never, never. Have. So that's never where I'm have. at. I still. I liked it because of the opportunity and there is a lot of dope motherfuckers around. You know, there's mm-hmm. definitely some shit. But I think as a history and as a whole, I don't know if we. It's just, a fucked up history for sure. I don't know if, if we're as noble as we have. You know, brainwashed as a child when you're reading the textbooks to think. Yeah, oh, not at all. In them yeah. textbooks growing up, America was like the bees, neat, like the, right, the, the right, sweetest right. pies of all, you know, right. cookies and cream. The darlings and yeah, shit. Yeah, fucking every, just, oh, uh, we just hooking everybody up. It's, it's like, fucked up history for like, sure. like, nah, nigga, we, we out here a little bit too. Mm, oh, no, we way out here. <laughs> you think, Extremely out you here. You think we're out here more than anyone else? Do you think that's how we, we got, got here? A, <laughs> that's good, yeah. I mean, we we're dropped two good. atomic we're, bombs. We're giants. we're giants. Yeah, we are giants in the game as far as how this shit is going to go down in history. Yeah, <laughs> we are, This 250 years has been fucking crazy in, in in just world history, yes. You didn't drop two of them things over, <laughs> over there. Then we ain't fucking around. <laughs> that's scary, bro. That's right. That's what happened. Whoever and jumped been, that punk fucking first. This country hasn't even been existing that long. We came in here and took the fuck over quick off of free labor of blacks. Yeah. <laughs> that know. was a crazy transition in human history, bro. That but it, but it made transition. sense. That, but I mean, like, let's be honest. Would, that was a crazy transition. Would, would this be here if that shit didn't happen? And absolutely not. That's why it was the craziest transition. That shit. Have, that was the first time in history that that would ever, ever have, have happened. Right. So now the world is completely knowing of each other, and now well, no, no, there, there was like slave that. shit before that time, no. What's up? Like, was there slaves? Like, yeah. So like, yeah, I'm slaves th- always been existing. This slavery shit just stopped, and it's still going on, actually. But yeah, but I'm saying, but but you know, I'm talking about like on actual like a physical man slave, in, in a, you know, like a black man being a slave enslaved here. Niggas has been enslaved. How, how come America popped off so quick? In the grand scheme of things, as opposed to like a different nation who's probably done that before, I'm sure there had to be How, other. Why, like our, it's just our time right now. It's yeah, like, so it's just, there's it, been waves. Like the Portuguese have been on, the Spanish have been on, the French have been on. 
And it, you then, th- then, then does that just England, go? They've been on. You think America's everybody? On, China's been on. Yeah, so yeah. So you say saying right now we just on. Yeah, we just on. And but it's the sh- it's shifting because the world is going more so into technology based. Uh, so it's not just about brute strength and shit no more. That's not our industry. We well, actually, we do have our giants, of course, in uh, Silicon Valley and shit like that. So, but they still are competing with you know the, the Eastern there. countries. Right. So, when they're giants over there, they're getting shit done in Japan. You know. And here's the thing. Do you think that there, do you think that we low key got shit popping too, but we just can't let it be known because that's our weapon? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's a weapon. I think we just we got a terrible, fucked up history, so we still like have a lot of stupid shit oh, that yeah, we can't really yeah. get together with. All that's the time. a good point. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so like if we were focusing more time on just advancing our shit and being safe and shit. Yeah, we would we would we waste a, we waste a lot of time. So yeah, a lot of resources cuz we're still fighting yeah, we injustice. Yeah, we still fight a lot of shit. We got a lot of people from a lot of different places and shit and we still got this fucked up history that we don't Which is kind of like a gift and a curse because the gift is you get all these different people to create some dope shit. Right, but then you make it fucking terrible throughout your whole history for them to actually do shit. Right. I know. And you keep the elitism type of setup and shit like that. So that's the hard part of it all. Uh, it makes it kind of terrible. That's why we have struggles that they don't have to worry about. Uh, other countries don't have to worry about. Like when, let's say, George Floyd situation. They don't have, they're not worrying about that. Um, and that's not putting anything down on the things that they do have to worry because other countries, they I mean, do have their like own shit. Right. It's just not a racial type of thing, specifically in America, because it's so mixed with everybody. And we have these big racial issues, issues and tensions and right. elite shits and right. stuff like that, that... We have this specific thing that can break us, and they know that. And, and you can hit at that through technology. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you just you could just spread, you know, you, a damn meme or something. You know, you could. Yeah. Who's this? Who, who the fuck is creating memes? Like at the end of the day, who the fuck are creating the memes? Like the the one, and how do you know that they're not doing that? Right. You know, let's let's change the culture of this. Let's throw a. Oh, yeah. Again, I'm thinking conspiracy theories, obviously, right? Mm. But who's to say that the government ain't already a part of what the fuck is really going on on the internet? Right. Like, like, is it really a wild, wild west? Like, no, I doubt that. Right? Right? It could be. I think, I guess maybe if you have rules like uh, the public forums, but don't you think that they know? Or is Facebook not fucking with the government or any of the companies not fucking with the government? I know I, there's weird I, rules and shit, you right? Know, I mean, I'm, I think... I, I like to think that it is a structure to have it done and that it's not a lot of co-mingling with it. But, I mean, you could be right. It could be. And if so, maybe maybe it's low-key, too. It could be. It could be when you get up. But I know, like, level. when Facebook, the government will come at them to, sometimes. Yeah, I was about to say, because you have to have relationships with the government when you're at that level, when you're at a Facebook level, you know, because and especially the type of platform that it is. So he's always back and forth in court with the Supreme Court and shit like that. So, um... But a lot of times they be drilling his ass. Yeah, they drill his ass a lot because he's he's a corporation that has a lot of responsibility because it's a news thing and it's a lot of false information on it a lot of times. Right. So he has to be held accountable because it's such a big platform. It's like a, a corporation, like we like to say, is a person. Right, right. You know what I mean? So right. it's the biggest person in this platform in this country. So you have to have a relationship with the government and the, and the establishment. And, the, and I know and, and, and that's the argument, right? A lot of people don't like that. But you're so like you have a responsibility to to the whole nation. At the, you have a responsibility to each uh, citizen at that point, because they're spreading false information. Right. You know, right. and this can literally stop uh, votes from doing this and stuff, and people are being misled right. on purpose. You know. Right. So, Isn't that crazy? That that's, that's our lives. That's yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> that's why I love just breaking down life. I'm like, man, we go through some shit to try to figure this shit out. Like we we just invent a lot of shit like voting and just that's such a like we really just trying to figure shit out on how to all just get along. Like that's literally the only like how can you get yours while trying to get along? Yeah, we all just trying to be people just next to each well, other. I guess some shit. people don't give a fuck about being alone. They're just trying to get theirs. There's people like that out there. They probably really don't. They give probably a f- they're just bouncing through the system though. That's just kind of how it is. We all just doing the same shit though. Let me ask you this uh, In about the same that. System. Uh, integ- business integrity. Let's 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 chime in on that for a minute. Um, is there a level that you're willing like? My thought. I was talking to someone recently, and he said, 
that in order to get to the big dogs, you almost have to crack a few eggs. Like you, like you can't. It's really hard. And this is a business person, so he was in. The, he goes in my business. The people who make it, unfortunately, the ones who are willing to do. Like if you don't be part of the fucking people, then you can't make it mm-hmm. in a business. You will. You, he said you will. So you have to. Mm-hmm. So and I was like, damn, that seems kind of fucked up because I kind of want to run my business. I want to do the right thing, do the right thing, you know. Yeah. Or for instance, not charge too much, I, you know, da 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 da. And he was like, no, nah, and that's noble and that's dope. But at the end of the day, he goes, this world is made of predators and prey. If, at the at the end of the day, and are you the one going to be preyed on? Or are you going to be the predator? Mm-hmm. And and when you break it down into that simplistic, yeah, I guess right. Oh yeah. Especially for different things. And I'm like, damn, because he goes, I mean, you can think everything's sunshine and rainbows. You can think that, but, I mean, let's be honest. And I'm like, personally, I want business integrity. Right. You know, I I, I kind of get off on that. I kind of, To me, it's like an authenticity part about it. Yeah. I want to make sure that I'm always transparent because that's kind of what I built the whole brand about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's and I feel like... You. It's- so I feel like this yeah, got to go yeah. into the the the, the clothing brand too. And, and everything cares none related that it's all authentic. It's your person, you know. But it, and I feel like if I change, I think because it's attached to me. If I change or didn't be or didn't say or was was like something that I said was a thing that I should be like. Yeah. That would hurt the brand. Yeah. See, that's what I. This is an interesting thing too. A system that we've developed. Now we we're just connecting that. How we've developed something like called a brand. Just like in a, in a in a human concept, like we develop something called a brand, so it's like an extension of ourselves, and it's an extension of yourself that can kind of keep you in shape and shit. Like as it grows, you grow with it. What is, so? What is the the official definition of a brand? I want. Oh, I kind of want to know. I, I've yeah, never actually yeah, looked at this. Like, yeah. Define brand. Here's the definition of brand. A type of product manufactured by a particular company under a particular name. And then number two is an identifying mark burned in livestock or f- or criminals or slaves with a branding iron. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's fucked up. What the? Why would they that used be the to, next thing? I don't know. That was <laughs> there. Uh, mark with a branding iron. That's the verb. <laughs> or number two, assign a brand name to. So maybe it's a defined brand name. It's like a weird. Uh, well, no, that's dumb. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing <laughs> so I, I ever said. It's a weird think. word, right? Brand. But like, but it's kind of like in that in that same vein, though. Is what do you mean? It's kind of in that same thing, like where it's like a representation of whatever you are, or whatever you you know what I'm saying. And it kind of you know what I'm saying with the care is none. It's like an extension of Chris. This is like Chris, pretty much. You know what right, I'm so Even I guess it, it, especially as you incorporate and whatnot, you're talking about legal zoom. As you incorporate, it's literally like a person at this point. Yeah, you know what I mean. So now it's like as you grow, it grows. Well, I, I well, I think the cares none brand itself it can get way bigger than me by a by a long shot. Right, for sure, for sure. So I I do think event, but I do I don't think cares none could ever hurt me, but I think that I could hurt cares none. Right. But that's that's what I'm saying. That's the good connection of it all because like you want to, it keeps it in check. It keeps you in it check. It keeps me it. in check. Absolutely. That's what I mean. That's the beauty of it. It's like, right. man, I want to see it do well. So it keeps me in check to do it. It's like a full relationship with it. Yeah. So and like you so like you look at PCA and say, it's me, but it is its own thing. Right. But I know I'm like attached and if if that's going to be the good, which is mine, the more. The more, the more you put, right, which is actually want. fire about I'm it. I'm putting my shit on screen for it. Like, yeah, I see you doing shit. Right, right. And that's kind of like crazy. That, like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean, that, that brand. That's what it like. It's like a relationship, and it kind of keeps you in a certain mental situation yourself. Yeah, but I, I definitely think that you you can, it can outgrow you. It can outgrow you. Okay. You know, like, for instance, like, if I ask you, like, what person does Nike represent? Right. 
Whereas, so yeah, there are possibilities. Yes, that it can. I know. What you right. Mean, Whereas I know when you say mean. he cares none, at least at I thought the, you meant on the level that. You, that well, that's what I'm saying. Where, 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 at that, at so I'm sure whoever the Nike do that first. Right. Oh yeah, definitely. It was like this dude's attached there's to some it. Shareholders that he didn't have before, and right just now, and yeah, definitely. So I can I, I can totally yeah once you get some let's win if when this shit's twenty years down and it's a big thing mm-hmm. like Supreme or something. People ain't gonna really remember Chris as much, if if what I, my James Ford, I don't know. Although I think I'm, my my brand's gonna be kind of dope too, but mm-hmm. I I can see this is blowing up quicker than me. Got you, I get you. You know what I'm saying? I I because I think somebody could buy the hoodie without knowing who I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I get what you mean. But you don't have to fuck with me without buying a hoodie. So I don't know. I feel what you mean. I feel what you mean. But they, but you know what's crazy is like really considering that. For yourself and like you for you or whoever else out here has a brand, something that they're trying to like show off or not show off, but represent you. Yeah. Yeah. Like how good that feels when you give a fuck about it. That's pretty cool. When you truly say, oh, okay. When you you are the kind of person who, if I attach my name to it, that it's an attachment to me or it's a. That's some pretty cool shit. You're like, I'm like, okay, so this represents me now a little bit. So I can't fuck it up. Keeps you in shape. Especially if that's what you talk about. Keeps you in shape. Now, man, unless your brand was like, this is a we don't give a fuck brand because we don't care, which is kind of confining because it's cares none. But I mean, like, <laughs> we don't, we're not. See, the weird thing about cares none is it actually cares a lot yeah. in certain things, mm. but then it cares none in others. Mm-hmm. So, so for anyone who's like, what the fuck is it mean? Here's what I would it say. Makes so much sense. Here's what I would say. Cares to me, and this has changed over the years. But what it means to me today is there's a lot of things that keep a lot of us from doing the things that we want to you know whether it be fear rejection uh failure or whatever whatever the things or society a girl people outside walking if if you want to do something and you're not doing it for one of those kind of reasons Mm -hmm. it's one thing if you physically cannot do it of course like, you know, I got no arms and I want to pick up that bottle. Sorry, you ain't going to be able to do it. Although, Unless you get some fake arms or something. I about to say, all the, the shorty you, you used to tell. <laughs> well, I mean, no. But, but he still had one. I don't know if you can play physically. Yeah. I don't know if it's physically possible with no right. arms. <laughs> can you imagine playing ball? How do you dribble the ball? Like, physically. Right. Unless you just dribble it with your stomach, you'd be cold. The nigga who's playing cool? basketball cold with no arms, <laughs> that's – then you really don't have an excuse. <laughs> Like, like, you don't got an excuse now, but, the, like, come on. This nigga ain't got a head. <laughs> and he's better than Jordan. No, but uh, uh, what the fuck we talking about? The, um. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about brand? Yeah, the brands. Um, I totally forgot what the fuck we was talking about. Yeah, it was something about the brands, though. No, but I I, uh, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. But <laughs> you see my brain working. I'm, like, trying to get it. Like right now, trying, look. I was at, trying to get it too. Hey, see, 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 this whole thing right now. This is why I'm, we we are good hosts. Definitely for me. I'm gonna talk for myself. Yeah. Is because you see how I just transitioned my fuck up into something. Yeah. By talking about it, so I'm still authentic. You just gotta do it. To me, now this is just me. <laughs> to, to me, that's entertaining. Mm-hmm. If a nigga can talk, you know, like okay, he fucked up clearly. Right. Nigga <laughs> just forgot. And then still transition into a, a right. full fledged conversation. That's the and I'm only getting better at it without the alcohol. Right. I love this shit. Like I love this. This is dope. I love talking to you. I love this talking dope, to people. So, I love fucking just. And this is like little therapy sessions. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Little mini therapy sessions. Oh, I want to get into a topic actually. Uh, oh, oh, nigga. Okay. Because I've been getting, I've been kind of delving into this topic a little bit myself. And uh, it's about beliefs. And so just like the structure of beliefs and kind of, of course, the history of beliefs and stuff. And everybody pretty much has to, like, believe something, right? Um, So, but there's something that creates all of our beliefs, right? And so I was, like, just studying some shit and I was getting into, like, systems of beliefs. So you got, like, monotheism. You got polytheism, you got like animism, things like that, right? So, um, monotheism obviously is going to be like the Christian. You got your, uh, they believe in one God. So, it's going to be the Christian uh, point of view, the uh, Islam, 
and uh, um, um, uh, what was so you mean beliefs? Okay, so let me get this straight. You mean beliefs based on like what's going on, or just like I believe? No, what I'm the saying the word belief. Like I believe that this tastes better than. No, 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 not that. I was always talking about the, the just the belief systems in which we live in, of life. As far as like what's the meaning of it? No, it was more so like the history of belief systems and how it kind of gets into our minds to like it structures our lifestyles. Okay, pretty okay. Much. So you're talking about the, like the word belief. Yeah, and how it's like throughout history it has changed over time for different people. Okay, okay. and it actually okay. So I was I'll say it like this. I'll say it like this. So when you're in when you're living in one of the societies that's monotheistic so you're a christian society or a, a muslim society or a jewish society it's all it's more so like the one god type of thing right so if you have a polytheistic system let's say like the i've been studying about the egyptians right so they believed in like many gods so they had like if you believe in many gods normally in those type of systems you are more accepting of people who are different than you because you understand that everything, like every everything in that system, like everything has a spirit. Everything is this kind of like 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 the Greek mythology kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. same thing. So when you have like Zeus and her and all these people have roles, these are actually a thunder, a god of thunder. Right. They're actually just describing what thunder is to them. Like they're making sense of it, but they create stories out of it. But really, they just put it like in a spirit. Like it's a spirit mm -hmm. coming down. It's a, something like that. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. It's just us trying to make sense of it. So you understand different things or different elements are in the world. So you kind of look at the world in a more like social way versus you looking at a one God thing where it's like, I can never be that, but I have to aspire to that. I can never, ever be that. And so it's not like I, my, my life, I'm working so that my life will be better after this for mm. a lot of people. So it's like that that whole mindset is different and you're not like thinking worldly about what's around you. But the goal is to like be a better person right now so that I can get there. Right. Because that's supposed to be better. So it's like a different way of different thinking of how we've done throughout. Yeah. History. Like, and we're, so who brought those beliefs? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, that's what I'm saying. Those are just the structures in which all people live in because we live in those type of, you know what I'm saying? How it's spread out throughout. Like history. is Greek. Like, is, are there people that still believe in Zeus? <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably. Like, do you, like Pro is that, I'm pretty is, sure. I'm pretty sure. Do you think that there's like, like, nah, yes, nigga, yes, Zeus, nigga, them. Athena, nigga. There's, yeah, I believe, I probably, nigga, <laughs> fucking nigga, Hercules, nigga. <laughs> do you think that this motherfucker is out here for real? Like, not even like, no, like, no, no fucking around. No, for real. They're really I, like to the island of Hercules. Hey, bro, it could be. I, there's some stuff in this world. Bro. So that's Greek mythology, right? Yeah. Do people still practice that? Is the question right? I got I to gotta figure that out. <laughs> Do people still practice Greek mythology? Here's a summary from Quora. Yes, there are still people who worship the classic gods and goddesses. The modern worship of ancient Roman and Greek deities is called neo-paganism. Mm -hmm. well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Do people still practice Greek mythology? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Have you ever met one? No. Have you ever heard of that? That th the people, ha or you just assume? I would assume, that, yeah, I would assume. People, it's, have you ever seen somebody I mean, on TV? So many different, nah, what about like on TV? Have you seen a picture? Has no. anybody drawn? I haven't either. Like, that's just crazy. I don't know. That's the first time I've ever thought about that. Yeah. Which, which is crazy. That's how I know, like, I got so much to learn because I, I, I would have, <laughs> I would have told you, I would have bet everything in my soul that, right, who's, that who, who's still <laughs> practicing Zeus. Right. In, in in the in but that's what I'm Aquaman. saying. So many what about Aquaman? That's what we're all fighting over. We we like we to bring it back to what we're talking about. We're all just trying to like figure like just trying to make our way in the midst of each other, trying to figure shit out between different belief systems and shit like that. <laughs> it's like as a metaphor, you know. Yeah, I'd, or like the simulation theory, like we talked about. Some yeah. people really believe in that, so it's just come yeah it's a belief, right? And we're all just like, okay, you you fucking weird. Okay, so you're not letting me live because of it or, you know, my my race now because you won't let me live on my shit, so I'm trying to make my way around that, you know? Yeah. Isn't that the gift and curse to the United States, too? Is Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the same thing. Cause, yeah, because we it's still got... It's all just di different belief systems just running into each other. 
But that's like kind of what makes the story kind of beautiful to me. Like the, that, like it's that. It's a little, weave. Yeah, it's yeah. a weave. That's why I say it's a really. That's why I, I was like, I like this country. I like my country because it is just a special weave in history right now that we're doing. This is the first time the whole world has been able to conglomerate in one area on the planet. You right. know what I'm saying? Well, this is like the most diverse place in history. Right. At this point. Yeah, because what other place in the in the world is this diverse? Right. That's what I'm saying, and it's I don't I, at least that I know. Unless of. there's been some other empire uh, imperial eras, like and I'm sure that's changing era, too, right? Yeah, like America ain't the only diverse country, like, right? Of but course. it's probably the most. But dope. we just had the most people that came, that have come from the most parts of the country or of the world. And then you got like people who came overseas and had a child, and then that child was born, and all of a sudden that bloodline. Then you get the halves and the. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different blood. Oh, yeah, it's mixing up. Big yeah. melting pot. But it's you know? just started. You know what I'm saying? We're still struggling with getting people in equal footing and shit. How long do you think until the entire human race turns one color? <laughs> How long? They say like they say like 50 years, but I think it's got to be more. No, than way more than but 50. But it's interesting to see what that would look like, though. Have you ever looked it up? If everyone was the exact same color? Yeah. Or, Wait, yeah. let me get this straight. They say 50 years it can happen? That's like a... That's how they were... I saw some stuff like that. Oh, like my bet was like 100,000 years or something. It not, well, the, that's what I'm saying. We, we're, for the first time in history, we're able to actually see and meet and communicate and do all this other shit with each other. Like, we can go to Asia oh, right now right. if we want to. You right. know what I mean? So this is the first time in history that this is possible. We can develop all of these relationships with each other. Through business. So through, then you're going to have sexual relationships? Yeah, exactly. But they, it's, it's <laughs> funny how... <laughs> You gotta talk about the sex, man. I mean, the fact that the inter that's interracial happen, sex, but right. that's what naturally is happening throughout history right now, and you just get more and more mixture. It's, it's so crazy. over under fifty years for you? Over a hundred years? I think over still. Me too. Because we got a lot of social struggles, like we still yeah, pushy with each other. Put your name. Yeah, I'm. We'll put a number for the hell of it. <laughs> you know, I like my numbers. Uh, yeah, you, you know, I like my numbers. Five hundred. I'll give five hundred. I don't know if five hundred. That sounds like a great number. Like when you say it, like it felt right. I'm like, yeah, that does sound like about five hundred, which is a lot of years. Yeah, just to put five hundred <laughs> perspective, if you go to a museum or something, they think of it like this. Could, this has to last for five hundred years when they build it. That's like the thought behind it. Build what? Like when you like you say for instance, like a big ass museum or something like that, like the field. You think when their designers do those type of buildings, oh. they're thinking of it to last for five hundred years. So as, like the as they don't like not not this building shouldn't last five hundred years, right? So they're estimating like the time on it, like and when you build anything, you know the time of decay and all the stuff based on. But what then they also have the technology and, and they know how to keep it preserved. Right, right, right. But that's what they're expecting, like the life, uh, like for the ship when they. You ever watch those shows? Oh, I love those. Uh, where they go in history, what would it like? Earth without humans in ten thousand yeah, yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, they gradually. Crazy. Yeah, go back to normal. Uh, and the fact is, they they kind of like if I think it was like if humans are on Earth, what would happen mm -hmm. in five years, ten years, fifty years? You know what they're showing tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah I watched it. And how they can, I it seems like they could accurately predict what would happen mm -hmm. based on the small samples and how shit would grow. But how do they know what would happen in a million years? I think they. I think um, I think there's a lot of people to study that area that they probably coagulate in a little bit. So there's kind of got to be a there's got to be type of I think there, truth to I, it. I think shit is measurable. Definitely on Earth is measurable. One thing this universe did give us is like measurements and shit. So I think that industry and they can just measure the Earth very well. It's like weather patterns, pretty much. Like you've been measuring continents breaking apart and all this other stuff. So I think they're just really people who really go hard into that industry, and they and they can kind of predict the patterns. Now you can never know uh, for sure, obviously. Obviously, right, right. It's kind of like what would happen at if grass can keep growing and there's no predators around to eat it. You know, they go deep into like the psych psychology of Earth right. type of shit. You know. Yeah, because I, I I ain't gonna lie, man. I would love to see what the future holds. Yeah, man. Right? Know, you know, know, that's like the... the that's the whole... Oh, my God. Sorry to cut you off. No. But I was about to say, that's why I kind of like history so much, because it shows me, like, where they were thinking they were at the time, and then, like, where we are towards... It didn't like, see the change them. and how Yeah, like, is. seeing how that shit just going, like, bouncing, like, from just this time to that And you're talking time. about to, like, caveman days to, yeah, like, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all of that shit, yeah. It just keeps bouncing in, in different industries and different shit just happening to let certain people shine at a certain time in history. 
Well, and then, like, this is just our time to do our shit. But, like, there's going to be some major shit coming up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's got to be, right? Oh, yeah. Especially with the exponential growth of the internet. And yeah. It makes me technology. like that. It makes me like the history or the, the future part of it even more. Like, yeah. seeing that, like, damn, I can respect that shit. I got to. I, I, I feel like the future, like, I, there's nothing more exciting than the unknown. Mm. Like, like space and the universe shit. Yeah. I, I like damn and we'll never and we'll never know, supposedly, unless they figure out some technology. But it don't feel like we'll have it Man, in our lifetime. That that that's an interesting one to talk about. Like space travel, like once they can figure that out. Yeah. Like where you can I like think, I think we can get there. Like where we can go like to Saturn. Yeah, they just put something on Mars a couple weeks ago. I know, but I'm talking about people. And then going back and forth, like take a quick trip, they get yeah, the technology yeah, yeah. quicker. I think, so I'm saying, I think we're gonna, I think we can do something. That's gonna be huge. I that's gonna be big. I think we can do it. Though. My bet, and this is gonna be kind of weird, but I we think we'll get there quicker because of aliens or something, and the technology is like here, or you know, or they'll come bring some technology. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, they about to give up belief, right? But you know, they about to, there's some shit in the COVID bill about about uh, the last one. The one in December, was it? Mm -hmm. What about it? There's a, about aliens. What about it? There, uh, this is crazy. In this bill, for some reason. <laughs> uh, they're gonna, Please don't uh, tell me they say illegal alien. Is, no, legal, nigga. These niggas legal. They live here. Say, right? <laughs> nah. You got to explain what that is. <laughs> yeah, aliens, though. COVID bill and aliens. The, this is CNN. An unclassified report on UFO must be released in 180 days. That's CNN. And read that again. Read it again. Yeah. UFO report. An unclassified report on UFOs must be released in 180 days. CNN. Okay. Was, was that all the item? No, that was just a headline. But. Oh. But hold on. Uh, U.S. intelligence agencies have 180 days to share what they know about UFOs thanks to the COVID-19 relief and spending bill. When President Donald Trump signed the $2.3 trillion coronavirus uh, relief government funding bill in, Decem in December, so began the 180-day countdown for the U.S. intelligence agencies to tell Congress what they know about UFOs. Mm -hmm. No, really. This is the article. Mm -hmm. It literally says no, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. The director of national intelligence and the secretary of defense have a little less than six months now to provide the congressional intelligence and armed services committees with an unclassified report about unidentified uh, aerial phenomena. I just think that's interesting as hell. And just to be devil's advocate, I think that could also be literally unidentified objects. So that could necessarily be anything. It, that it just, could be from it don't a, have to a, be a, country. a country that we don't fuck with. Now, let me tell you this, though. So, do you remember what came out during last year during the quarantine? When, when they, the, the shit about the aliens came out? Mm -mm, but. So, there was a report or from the Pentagon. This is fact. It's always something with the Pentagon. Right. Yeah, right. They it's always like the showdown place. You know, <laughs> the <laughs> fucking Pentagon. Uh, the whole history of the country. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, what is the, is the, what is the Pentagon? Is it like, with the defense? Like what? I don't the, like know, actually, it, I think it's defense. What is the Pentagon? We about to learn some U.S. According history. to Wikipedia, the Pentagon is the headquarters building of the United States Department of Defense. Yeah, as a symbol of the U.S. military, the phrase "the Pentagon" is also often used as a metonym. I don't know that word for the Department of Defense and its leadership. That's crazy. It's closed right now. You can. <laughs> it doesn't open until tomorrow at eight. <laughs> no, but no. they got business hours. Uh, to circle back, or to wow. try to, to try to circle back. Uh, yeah. The, so they they found these aliens. No, they said we have vehicles in our possession that are un that they believe are not from Earth. Mm -hmm. That's the headline, and all the big dogs. So they came out. We have these unidentified flying objects. And the technology is something mm -hmm. that is not a thing that anyone in the world knows. Mm -hmm. And they got that. And it, they kind of, but, but because you got the George Floyd thing, because you got the fucking coronavirus, you got all this shit popping off, you got bombs in whatever that country was. Remember that bomb that went off? Yeah. You got, then you got Tiger King. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> niggas watching Tiger King. You know, niggas really watching Tiger King. My bro. point is, all this 2020 was a motherfucker, right? Mm-hmm. And then they slipped in there these motherfucking UFOs. But it was so much like no one's like like it was the, the year was so wild. I feel like didn't UFOs take it. would take over that whole entire shit though. It was it came out. It came out. So it's why a, would it not take over the whole? Entire because I shit? think it's it's I don't know. I mean, this is my conspiracy I brain like talking. Okay, go ahead. This is my conspiracy <laughs> brain talking. But it feels like some. It then it then if you add if you couple that with this thing that they're about to release in 180 day countdown in the COVID, like why is there a countdown? Just live, like what that's weird. Like why is there gonna be a countdown to let us know? <laughs> it's just weird to me. I don't know. But I'm listening. No, so you got the countdown of some crazy shit that they have to let the government know. Mm-hmm. And then you add the fact that they have the vehicles, unworldly vehicles. <laughs> like Out of this world. Out of this world fucking vehicles. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that even mean? What does that mean? Hey, what's up? What the fuck does that it used mean? To be a, it used to be a phrase, that's for real. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck is out of this world? Out of this world vehicles. And I'm like, something's going on, man. Something's going on. Something's about to go down. So you think it's going to be... I don't know what it's going to be. I'm, inter- I'm just interrupting okay. right now. I don't know. But let it be like, hey, y'all. Hello. We were trying to tell you niggas the aliens are real. Trump, that nigga's an alien. What, you know what I'm saying? What if they said that? Oh, like they're... <laughs> no, already, that, okay. that was a joke. But what if it's something vicious? Like, no, nah, we for sure got aliens. Uh-huh. So... We was trying to let you know, let y'all, you know, because y'all couldn't handle it to tell y'all. So, so you think they wrapped it up with a small bow? Yeah, or like they gonna give us? I don't know, or they I might like give us a little piece. Topic that would top everything, though. If there was something just <laughs> that's to what I'm saying. Well, I'm, CNN. I, listen, I'm like, telling. Okay, if that's the case, then why would we naturally <laughs> not have that be our pop off? Or are we just thinking like, oh, that's bullshit. No, I think niggas don't take the the UFOs as serious as you take the bullshit problems we have amongst us, right? Like racial tensions amongst. A lot of shoving, you know, a lot of pushing. And then you had the coronavirus, which we're all dealing with as a people. No one's thinking about the futures or, or the, the space and right. time because we're too busy dealing with a vicious 2020. And right, motherfuckers don't have to believe in it anyway. So. Right. And then you just throw in some aliens and then niggas, you know. Yeah. I'm just saying that that topic is getting hot and niggas ain't really, they're still kind of in the gloom of no, don't really care. Yeah. But I, and then there's a countdown. What, that, what does that mean? They're going to be like, all right, hey, yeah, next Tuesday. Hey, what does it mean? What does that mean? Next Tuesday, we got to let y'all know something. <laughs> so tune in at 7 p.m., and we're going to tell y'all some shit about these UFOs. Right. Imagine that. And then people be like, man, nobody taking this shit serious. Nobody even watch it, probably. Right. True that. True that. I feel you. But, but what if it's, like, vicious? Like, like what if? How about this? And I'm just hot, obviously. These guys are real. How about this? Off that. What if? What would happen? If they found out that a meteor was coming, and that's it. Ooh, we. That's <laughs> so like, what does the government like? What do someone has got to figure that news? And I don't even think that that could last without getting with the internet. That would come out very fast, right? Oh yeah, our communication game is on strong. Especially strong. something like that. Yeah. The end of it all, like everyone's got to know about that as fast as possible. Yeah. Or do you think some niggas do know and they just not letting that information out? Like, so what would happen once the world gets a hold of that information? Do you think it'd be chaos? Do you think niggas would try to keep living their lives normal? Like, what do you think? There'd be a lot of chaos. <laughs> Don't matter how. What, what if it was like 20 years? 20 years? Oh, yeah, because it does happen like that a lot of times. So what if it was like, no, in 20 years, that's it. So do you think it'd be chaos right now? Or do you think we'll shit. still try? I think it'd definitely be chaos if, like, oh, shit, we got 42 minutes and right. it's over here. Like, okay. I'm throwing it right. Hey. Like, yo, it's going You, you probably wouldn't even believe it. Right. Like, hey, niggas, y'all got 32 <laughs> seconds <laughs> and it's over. It's ball out. Ring, ring, ring. And then it's over. And then it's oh, it. No, man. Uh, but 20 years, like, I, you know, I yeah. feel like that'd be a good movie. Like, what do you, do you Ooh. think niggas would be like, man, well, then fuck it. What's the point? Or... And then there's no law, you know, lawless, or we just, you know, just to kind of help us get through it and hope that somebody figures out a way. We just kind of keep society going. Yeah. See, that's that's the thing about beliefs. Like that's we all trying to struggle with each other. Like, no, just keep doing this way. No, fuck y'all. I'm gonna steal your shit. Fuck it out of here. I gotta. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? So the different people just live in different 
different mindsets, man. Yeah, so like, so again, it comes down to prey versus predators, right? Yeah, 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 and that's what we're all trying to just. It's so it seems so easy for us to get along because we're just people, but it's really a struggle out here a lot of times. And just to think, we're starting to get even more connected, so that's why the specific struggle is real. But in the future, when we're all like finally used to each other, like okay. I'm not as tense now. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it is. Really it's just the first time as. you really get to see what, what's going on amongst everybody. Right, 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 right. And for the first time, we've been good and bad. Yeah, so everyone it's an seeing time everything. In history right, right now that we're living through. No, I it, and I, I like that man, I, and I like the growth. I like I, I like the it's tough conversations. Clashing, but it's yeah, we really yeah, we're able to talk a lot of shit. And it feels like we're getting through it. It's just gonna be a bumping way. Niggas think it's gonna be easy to get perfect. Like this, right, right. And what does even perfect even mean? Because then you get the beliefs, right? So right. it's not really. To some, what's perfect to you might not be perfect to someone and else. It's like literally everybody's right to have a belief. That's the thing that it is. It's like you can't tell a person they can't have a belief because everybody has to have a belief about stuff. But let me get to this. Let me ask you this. Do you think if the world molds into this one over however many years and this is one, do you think there could be like one ultimate belief? That's the kind of interesting thing that I think about as well. Like I think it's possible fucking a like, thousand years I, from I now. I think that's the ultimate. Like if you think about just cohesion and animal structure of us just like you know what i'm saying us being able to just survive with it on earth like everybody wants to do a survive we don't want to kill motherfuckers and, right well you know, some do you know what i mean motherfuckers. but just like that's also a, a historical plucked up and shit but uh we ideally want to get along with everybody cohesively and if we're all structured in the world together i think that would be the ultimate thing to do to be like one cohesive mind it, it makes sense and it could get to something like that with the help of technology it's like some one cohesive mind I mean, because we're super close now as far as how connected yeah, we it's are it's like something that we've discovered on this planet that you can do that's just vicious like it's crazy let me ask you this provides. about being connected like most and we'll get off this podcast soon but what do you do you realize i wonder how, how let me say this let me, let me fucking say it i got you baby no no i got to say this do we realize how blessed we are being in these, you know, first world countries and being having all this technology? Nah. And there's some countries that literally don't have nah, not even close. no internet. Like, not, do do we whole, as a people? I don't think so. As a whole, I don't think we so. We don't understand how blessed we are? Not at all. Not even the average person. Because it feels so like this normal life. Not even the average person understands that. I would say. Because like, so like there's not really even, some places. Not even, you only got to be an asshole to not understand. Like it's literally just average people that just don't understand how blessed we are. Like there's places in other countries, in other countries all over the world that literally to this would be like this absurd. Yeah. In a good way. Absolutely. Or in a bad way, I guess, you know. So no, like, just shit, me, like, in so many ways. In so many ways. <laughs> right, but, right. But there's a lot of different type of living out here that is really, really, really different than anybody in this country will ever even think of being in. Right. You know what I mean? So even when I was um, living in Brazil for a little bit and just to be in the favelas and whatnot, which is, this shit is like made out of, they, they got their own government system. They, the city doesn't provide them water and shit. Um, they made their fucking roads and shit was made by ex-slaves. Um, shit was like just little baby garages and shit. And they were just like making it on their own. So it had like nobody in America with any experience, anything like that. Even if you're on the lowest, what's our lowest, like section eight and shit like that. And, you know, public housing thing. Now you like think that. that's you think like to have running. You think water. capitalism did that? Yeah, absolutely. But because societies I mean, run their yeah, they run their course, and some some do better than others because we all kind of bounce around with the same systems. But yeah, because I'm, if if you go back to the fucking Pilgrim days, right, mm -hmm. and was that it, that was probably still advanced to some places, some other places in the world, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. So back in the day, the Pilgrim it's game, like that whole was like, that's killing it. Mm -hmm. We got ships and shit. Like, yeah, right, we got right, right. wagons. And some people look at them like, y'all out here, this is, that's some futuristic shit, right? Right, right. The boat, yeah. That's how you got the Dutch East India Company and the British East India Company. And they, or they're doing their thing and trading slaves and shit. <laughs> so those were like the dogs of the seas. Because they had like, that was like the airplane of the day. Right. I got well, I got access to the ocean. I can go anywhere in the fucking world and go trade shit. So like that industry, whoever owned that industry, they were the dogs and shit. Right. You know what I mean? And it just shifts now from different things. Yeah, because they, they had the access to just people. The more you can have access to people and you can trade your shit with them, even if it's people. <laughs> right. Right. Like literally. <laughs> like that's the that's the whole thing in which we work. Well, nigga, we had. Uh I think guess what we at? One, I would say one thirty. One twenty eight forty four. Ah, that's pretty good. 
Uh, shout your shit out, man. All right, you got PCAProductions.com. You can check me out on there. Uh, I just shot my first music video with my boy Joshua Bernard. Um, so I'll be releasing some new stuff. And also my Instagram, DE3RIC.TV. Um, yeah, link me up. Let's hook it up. Let's uh, it you done. can find me on any and all platforms at Chris Cares None. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, you can also go to CaresNone.com. Yeah. Yeah, you can go live with it. Uh, I still got, if I'm being honest, I, I still got to figure out some of the uh, behind the scenes with the actual purchasing shit. Yeah. Uh, so I'll deal with that when it comes, but I'm not going to kiss key. But as far as you can go to it, check out the shit, and it's got links to everything. That's what I'm talking you about. Know. Yeah, I got to clean. I'm cleaning my shit up constantly, too. So. Right. It's always it's a constant flow. But yeah, it's all out there. So I, it's almost, Congratulations. I'm almost ready to really get it out, get it out. But uh, Chris cares none. And, uh, and as always, cares none. Nigga.